Does cranberry juice help prevent urinary tract infections? Hi, my name is Mahitha. I'm a urology resident. Let's talk about it. So cranberry juice has a chemical called proanthocyanidins or PACs. These molecules essentially prevent the bacteria from grabbing on to the lining of your bladder. This is good because the attachment of bacteria to your bladder wall is one of the first steps in setting off an infection. The studies that look at whether cranberry juice can affect your risk of UTIs have been mixed. And that's because studies aren't perfect. Sometimes people drop out of studies and it's really hard to actually measure the concentration of PAC in various cranberry juices. But there was a recent study published in 2023 that looked at many studies and put it all together. This study right here is the latest update to this review. They had a total of 8,000 patients across 50 studies. And they concluded that cranberry products probably reduce the risk of symptomatic culture verified UTIs in women with recurrent UTIs, children, and people with a susceptibility to UTIs due to some kind of intervention, a procedure, catheter, surgery. But it is also important to note that this pooled analysis showed no benefit in elderly people in nursing homes and hospitals, pregnant women, and people with some kind of neurological bladder dysfunction. I also wanna note that if you are having an active symptomatic urinary tract infection, which means you're having a burning sensation while you're peeing, you're having pain in your pubic area, fevers, chills, and it is proven with a urine culture that you have a urinary tract infection, your doctor will treat you with antibiotics, and that is okay. There is no evidence that cranberry juice alone will help eradicate a urinary tract infection. If you don't use antibiotics, you could risk the infection becoming worse. However, the literature indicates that cranberry juice can be a reasonable method in some individuals to reduce the risk of having repeat urinary tract infections. Talk to your urologist about it. I hope this helps.